by temperament james joyce was an artist a symbolist and you remember that we had four symbolist literary figures in british literature shelley william black william butler yeats Th thomas strine is iliad and the fifth one is james joyce these five literary figures are known for symbolism used in their works james joyce and t s eliot were contemporaries hence uh, so many of their things resemble to each other for example they were rebels eliot was rebel also james joyce was rebel he rebelled against ireland society religion culture politics everything T. S. Eliot was also rebel. T. S. Eliot lived in exile, so James Joyce, Joyce also lived in exile. And both were also the victims of censorship. Their works were the victims of censorship. So much so that in the year 1904, James Joyce left Ireland and went to reside in Paris in France. I would like to tell you another important thing here since I found this opportunity that in 20th century in modern age Irish literature began began to be dominant in British literature you know William Butler Yeats he belonged to Ireland James Joyce novelist belonged to Ireland George Bernard Shaw the modern no uh, dramatist also belonged to Ireland एकड़ी गाली छोड़ो तुम्हें मैं रोज समझा हुआ बिगिनिंग का वही समझा हुआ मुंद का वी हिनमल ती टे स्टेट्स इंग्लैंड जहा सिस्टर स्टेट्स हैं आयरलैंड स्कॉटलैंड ठीक ए पा खुद इंग्लैंड ये टे ही एक बेस रिलेटेड हैं अज भी आयरलैंड की जी टीम तुम्हारा आयो वो असल में इंग्लैंड की सिस्टर टीम है वो उन सैपरेट थी आज हाँ बाकी स्कॉटलैंड उन गड है सो उन गालू क्यों था छो जो ही बॉर्न जेम्स जो वॉज बॉर्न इन आयरलैंड आयरलैंड वॉज दी स्टिल द पार्ट ऑफ इंग्लैंड आर यू गेटिंग मी इवन स्कॉटलैंड वॉज अ पार्ट ऑफ इंग्लैंड नाउ आयरलैंड इज अ सेपरेट कंट्री 